Hello all, welcome to part 67 of TestNG training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to use test listener adapter class. It is a class guys in place of iTest listener interface. So till now, that is still the previous sessions, we were using iTest listener interface and we are overriding the methods of the iTest listener. Okay like on start, on finish, on test start, on test uh, success, on test failure, on test skipped, okay? On test failed with the timeout. All these methods, guys, were coming from this, are the overridden methods from this ITS listener methods. It is an interface, guys, okay? ITS listener is an interface. Now I'm talking about test listener adapter class. Can I replace this ITS listener interface with a test listener adapter? and still get the same results that I got with ITS listener overriding of the methods? Yes, that is possible. Because you see, some people will be writing the code, okay? When you observe the code written by some people while implementing the listeners in TestNG, some people may be using ITS listener interface and some people will be using test listener adapter here and there, you may get confused. Why people are using ITS listener interface? Now, why people are using test listener adapter? What's the difference? No difference, guys. The major advantage is this ITest listener is part of the test listener adapter class itself. Okay. This single class known as test listener adapter is already implementing the ITest listener. Not only this single listener, this particular test listener adapter class is implementing, but are, there are other different listener interfaces also. This test listener adapter class is implementing. Okay. Multiple listener interfaces this test listener adapter class is implementing so that if you use test listener adapter in place of the ITest listener, you may override even more methods than what ITest listener interface is providing for implementing the listener's concept in our projects. Hope you got my point, okay? If you use test listener adapter class, you are going to get more methods from more TestNG listener interfaces, including ITest listener, okay? So that's why some people will be using ITest listener if they feel that that is enough. But some people will be using IT, uh, test listener adapter class in place of the ITest listener in as part of implementing the listeners in their projects because it not only implements ITest listener interface, this particular class also implements many other listener classes so that you can get even more listener overridden methods by using this class in place of this ITest listener interface. Okay, so if you see this code here, guys, if you see this code here, uh, we have created my listeners as user defined class, which is implementing the ITest listener predefined interface of TestNG. From this ITest listener uh, predefined interface, listener uh, interface, we are we are overriding these methods. Okay, we are getting this many number of methods like uh, on test start, on test success, on test failure, on test skipped, on test failed with timeout, on start, on finish, like this, some methods we are getting from ITest listener, right? Now, if I don't use this ITest listener. In place of that, if I have to use this test listener adapter, I have to use extends keyword, guys. Okay, I should not be using implements because ITest listener is an interface, so we are using implements. But test listener adapter is a class, so we have to use extends. And we have to use test listener, test listener adapter. It's a class, guys. It's a predefined class in TestNG. Okay. So hover the mouse on uh, test listener adapter, you see uh, the moment I am writing, changing this from implements to test list, uh, implements to extends uh, test listener adapter when I'm replacing the ITest listener with the test listener adapter here, class here, by using extends keyword, already these methods are giving you the errors because I have not imported this method, uh, this particular class it. Okay, from the test engine library, I have to import this class. Once I import this class, automatically all the errors will be gone. You see why? Because ITest listener is also part of, okay, ITest listener is one of the interface which is implemented by this test listener adapter. So all the methods of the ITest listener are part of the test listener adapter class. Not only the methods of the ITest listener interface, but also other interfaces regarding different interface regarding the listeners are also the, okay, are also being implemented by test listener adapter, okay? So if you go inside this, if I press control key and uh, just click on this test listener adapter class, you can see that it is implementing I uh, result listener 2. Okay, it's one of the listener class, uh, listener interface, sorry. Uh, I, I, I result, I means interface guys, okay? Without I means class, okay? 
So this test listener adapter class is implementing I result listener two. And if I again control and click on this, this I result listener two is implementing few more listener interfaces like I result listener, I configuration listener. Let's go to the I result listener. And if you see I result listener, it is extending I test listener and I configuration listener. Go to I test listener. Then. It is an interface, guys. I test listener is an interface which is extending the I test ng listener and many other stuff. So the the process will go on. That means that that means that this particular class is implementing this test listener adapter class is implementing lot of listener interfaces. That means this class contains lot of methods than the normal I test listener. If I remove all these things from here for a while, I'll cut it and again paste it later. If I cut it and uh, and if I go to source and say override implement methods, you are going to get a lot of methods. You see, apart from on start, on finish, on test started. Where is that on test started? On test, uh, where is that on test? Uh, on test start, okay. On test success, on test failure, on test skipped, on test uh, failed uh, with success percentage. This is also from I test listener, if you remember. Also from I test listener, if you remember, then on test, uh, what is the other one, guys? On test skipped will be there anyhow. On test skipped, then yeah, on finish and on success and all those things are covered. Apart from that, what are the other methods you are getting before configuration? Get all test methods, get configuration failure, get config skips, uh, then get fail test, get pass it test, get skip it test, get test context, get timeout test. On configuration failure, on configuration skip, on configuration success. Then uh, these are the methods of iTest listener. Uh, and these are also on, on set all test methods. Set failed but with success percentage. Set failed test, set pass it test. To string. All these methods are coming from the other interfaces other than the iTest listener interface, which is being implemented by this uh, test listener adapter class. Test listener, listener adapter is a package of more, more. Uh, methods from different listeners, listener interfaces in TestNG, guys. So some people, if they are okay with ITES listener interface, they will simply write my listeners implements ITES listener. That's fine. That's okay. You can still use it. But there are some people, okay, who want to use the methods from the ITES listener, but also from other interfaces, which are actually being implemented by the test listener ad adapter. Okay, because of its implementing, it's providing more methods that we can override in this my listeners. So in such cases, people may use test listener adapter, guys. Don't get confused because different people will be using different stuff, but uh, either use I test listener, the ta task is done for us. If you use test listener adapter, even though test listener adapter also is implementing the I test listener somewhere. So it's also okay for us, okay? Whether you use I test listener or test listener adapter, that's fine, but only we have to use extends keyword because it is a class. In case of ITS listener, it is an interface. We have to use implements keyword. That's a, that's another difference. So hope guys, so hope guys, you understood what is the difference between this ITS listener interface and test listener adapter, and what are the requirements where we have to uh, replace this ITS listener interface with this test listener adapter, and why people use ITS listener interface in some programs, and why people use test listener adapter class in some some uh, some places uh, for implementing the listeners concept in this change. All this I covered in this session. So that's all for this session. The next session, I'm going to cover another test topic for you. Till then, see you. Bye bye.